Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain to you how you can update your SAP logon, your SAP GUI for Windows to the version 8.00. So here right now you can see that I am using obviously the SAP logon program to connect to my SAP system to work with the SAP system and I'm currently using the version 7.7. .7. And the version 7.7 .7 is running out of maintenance in about April 2024. And I would like to upgrade to the SAP GUI for Windows 8.00. And there the maintenance runs out of support in about January 2027. And um, yeah, basically what is really important, first of all, to know that um, yeah, basically as of SAP GUI for Windows 8.00, the SAP GUI for Windows is shipped as a 32-bit version, as well as a new 64-bit version. This is really important to know here right now. Um, how can you um, check out what kind of version you are currently using? Of course, 7.7 .7, um, is using the 32-bit. So if you, for example, there are multiple um, ways to check this out, you can right-click and then you can choose properties. And here regarding the file path, you can see that I um, have installed this application in the directory of the 32-bit version and um, what you also can do is before 8.00 SAP GUI or SAP logon has been shipped as a 32-bit version. So if you um, are using this, then um, regarding um, SAP GUI 8.00, you have to check or to conf to, to um, specify whether you would like to use the 32-bit version of 8.00 or the 64-bit version because you cannot install both versions, so 32-bit and 64-bit in parallel. So if you would like to use 8.00 the 64-bit version then you have to deinstall the 32-bit version this is really important so here uh, once again um, you can also check your current version if you for example double click on the sap logon then on the top left corner, you choose about SAP logon. And then right now here, you can see also what kind of release you are currently using. If you click on client environment, then within here, you will see also the current path. So where basically your program is installed. So once again, in the 32-bit directory. So, and what kind of uh, advantages or what kind of changes come with 8.00? As mentioned, the 64-bit version, so for example, also the quads theming, uh, improvement of the uh, HTML control based on Microsoft Edge, um, improved user experience and basically the SAP logon has been improved and so on. So yeah, and of course uh, you have the maintenance until 2027, that is important. So, and what kind of steps you have to do basically to update your SAP logon? First of all, what is really important because um, you have to make a backup of your landscape XML file. So basically what is the landscape XML file? The landscape XML file saves all your connections um, within the SAP logon. And if you are not doing this, you're running a risk that your connections, connections get lost. So that you have to do so. And how can you specify where the landscape XML file is being saved? Once again, in the top left corner, you choose now options. And then you have the folder SAP logon options. Here you expand this and then you choose configuration files. And here basically you see um, where your landscape XML file is being saved. So in my case, app data, roaming, SAP and common. 
And if you open this up within your Windows Explorer, then you can now see that those um, files are there. And basically you just select all of those files is perfectly fine. Um, but what is really important is the landscape XML file. I, for my case, just would like to copy all of those files and then basically I'm pasting it to, yeah, just for demo purposes to the desktop. Okay, and then basically you are good to go. So what do you have to do? So let's close this for a second. First of all, you have to, after you have made a backup of your landscape XML file, you have to download the SAP GUI version 8.00. And where can you do this? So basically you have to open up your browser and then you have to go to the software center. So just type in me.sap.com slash software center and then you have to log in with your S user and then basically within the search in software downloads you can just type in SAP GUI 8.00 hit the enter key and then all of the available download files will be listed based on SAP GUI 8.00 and within here you can see all of the basically versions of the SAP GUI 8.00 and based on the description you have to make sure that you have the right version so once again whether you would like to um, install it with the 32-bit version then you don't have to deinstall your previous SAP GUI 32-bit version or if you would like to use the 64-bit version so this really depends um, what you would like to do so in my case I would like to use the 64-bit version because uh, my operating system is also on 64-bit and then you um, if you by the way if you would like to get more information then you can uh, here on this button on the right you click there then you can get content info and then yeah, you will get some detailed information so what might be important if you are not sure so when was the file uh, created what is the checksum so what is basically the content details of this file so they're nice information and so for example if you are clicking on some else file and content info then you can directly see that this file is a little bit older and um, doesn't matter, but I like to get the newest version. So once again, I scroll down a little bit here on 64-bit version and then I click on the link. Then you will be redirected to the download file and yeah, depending on your internet connection, it takes more or less to download the file. Okay, then you have downloaded it successfully and then I would like to deinstall the previous version. So I go to my programs, I type in SAP whoop, without a typo and then I would like to deinstall this version. So I click just on uninstall. Yeah, I really would like to uninstall and then you just follow the wizard. So I click on next. So and then you might get a uh, message like I do because I have opened up the SAP logon so I have to close this and then I click on continue to retry it. Okay, and here you can see that the uninstallation of the SAP logon or the SAP GUI completed successfully so I close this and now I would like to install the SAP GUI 8.00. So I right click on the exit, I choose run as administrator. So, and then basically, once again, you have to follow the wizard. So once again, there you click on next. Then within here, you have to choose what you would like to install. In my case, I would like to install SAP GUI for Windows 8.00. Um, yeah, depending, for example, if you would like also to install a PDF print library and SAP automatic workstation up. Date, yeah depending what you would like uh, I don't need those two versions and if you would like to install them afterwards you can rerun the wizard and um, choose them that's perfectly fine so I click on next here you can choose where you would like to install the version that is perfectly fine I click on next 
Okay, great. So then you will end up in here. So the installation has been completed and to, yeah, basically you have to reboot your computer. So that is what I now gonna do. So, and after a reboot, basically you're seeing the new SAP logon icon or application and then you can start it so and once you have started it then basically here we can see that basically the landscape xml file has not be overwritten or deleted so basically my connections are still there that's perfectly fine and under options you're seeing basically here uh, new possibilities, but under SAP logon options, configuration files, you're seeing that the configuration file path is still the same. So your landscape XML files are still being used, but to make sure that um, they are not overridden and are not lost, uh, I recommend a backup before doing that. So, and once again, you can see on the title bar or on under about SAP logon here, you can see your new version. And what is now really important, you have to check if your connection still works. So, and that is what we're going to do. So I click on my connection. I enter my SAP username, my credentials and and then i am here so this works perfectly fine basically i can just execute one table and um, one transaction code so for example um, and then checking pure simple functionalities and that works perfectly fine and yeah that is how you can easily update your SAP GUI for Windows up to 8.00. If you have any questions left, please put them in the comment sections. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and then see you in the next video.